Hello, everybody. I'm so excited because today we are going to start Indian literature. Plus, every day we'll do a little bit of revision of whatever we have studied. So we have prepared a few questions on British literature and rest is Indian literature. Are you ready, Ankita? <clears throat> yes, Ankita is ready. Ankita, you can unmute yourself. All right, dear friends. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Before Indian literature, we need to do British literature. So here we go. Indian literature day one, but starting from a few questions on British literature. Recap. Ready? Okay, here we go. Prospero and Caliban. Oh, look at the demonic representation of Prospero. Prospero and Caliban. The psychology of colonization, which examines the tempest through the lens of post-colonial theory, is a work by, is it Leela Gandhi, Octave Menoni, Chinua Achebe, Yato Franz Fanon. Franz Fanon has a T, F-R-A-N-T-Z. Who wrote Prospero and Caliban, dear friends? You two babies, tell us the answer. It is a very famous work by... Octave Menoni. Octave Menoni. Ankita, there are lots of works based on the Tempest. Aren't yes. They? yes. There is Water with Berries based on the Berry. Tempest. Does anybody know who wrote Water with Berries? Do you know Ankita? George. I, I remember the writer like... George. Yeah. Lemon. George. In the castle of my George skin. Lamming, yes. Huh. Yes. George, George Lamming, Lamming also wrote in the castle of my skin. Yes. Very good. Now, in which work among the following was Ben Johnson satirized as Chrysogenus? Ben Johnson is satirized as Chrysogenus. Is it in the malcontent, histriomastics, the scourge of villainy, or what you will? In which of these works is Ben Johnson satirized? It is because Ben Johnson fought with somebody in wars of the theatres. Ankita, do you remember with whom did he fight in wars of the theatres? He uh, fought with John Marston. John Marston and Thomas Decker. Decker. John Marston and Thomas Decker. So what is the answer, YouTubers? Tell us the answer, YouTubers. It is histriomastics. Or the player whipped. Histriomastics is by Marston. And who, who wrote Satyromastics attacking Ben Johnson? Do you know, Ankita? Satyromastics. I think Satyromastics was written by... Uh, uh, Decker. Decker. Thomas yeah, Decker. Decker. Thomas Decker. Yeah. Today, Ankita's uh, memory has subsided a little bit. No problem. We will bring it back, guys. So, Marston wrote histio Histriomastics. When I was studying, my code was MH, Maharashtra, and DS, Delhi State. Marston, Histriomastics, MH. Decker, Satyromastics, DS. That, like that I studied. <laughs> the malcontent is also by Marston. These are all Jacobian dramatists. We are just revising British literature. Actually, today's portions is on, questions are on Indian literature. Okay, last question to you. This work which criticizes the prevalent superstitions of the Civil War period was one of the pioneering works of scientific thought of the 17th century. Scientific thought, pioneering work. Is it Religio Medici? Pseudodoxia, Epidemica. Both these are by Thomas Brown. Or is it Leviathan? That is by Thomas Hobbes. Or is it The Complete Angler by Isaac Walton? What do you think? Which of these criticizes superstition and promotes scientific thought? Ankita? I think it's pseudodoxia epidemic or vulgar errors. Vulgar errors. Vulgar errors, pseudodoxia epidemic or vulgar, vulgar errors is about the common errors. Vulgar means common. Common errors or superstitions. Remember that. That is by Thomas Brown, doctor of physique. Ha. Ah. Leviathan is uh, by Thomas Hobbes. All right. 
which is the work by Dryden based on Religio Medici? Anybody? YouTubers? YouTube babies? Religio Medici? Work by Dryden based on Religio Medici? Everybody knows. Ankita, you also can say. It is a Religio Leici. Correct. Religio Leici. Very good. Very, very good. Indian literature now. Ready, guys? Great. Identify the correct statement. The sea road to India was discovered by Vasco da Gama in 1498. Is it correct, Ankita? Yes. Yes. What happened yes. in 1492? I think Columbus. Someone, something else. Yeah, Columbus. Columbus came. Columbus discovered the new world. Okay. In 1600, the East India Company was formed. Is that correct? Yes, that is also correct. English newspapers like India Gazette, Calcutta Gazette, Bengal Journal, etc. was started during 1780-95 period. Is that correct? They came in the late 18th century. So, Ankita has nodded and given her consent. All are true. Look at Bombay Times here. Bombay Times it is. Okay, guys. So, we have corrected we have found the correct sentences, three correct sentences here. Going on, who started the first school in Bengal where the medium of instruction was Bengali? William Jones, William Carey, Lord Bentick and Lord Hastings. Tell me guys, do you know, is it William Jones? He was a translator and also linguist. Is it William Carey? I taught in our offline batch. He cared so much that he started a school for Indian children. Did you know everyone? Sarampur College was also established by William Carey. Ankita, Lord William Bentick, do you know something about him? He wanted to start what in India? He, start, he wanted to start English education in India. And he yeah. wanted to, you know, impart Western education through English language. That is why Macaulay... Presented his minutes to Lord minutes. William Bentick. Yeah. Very good. Identify the wrong pair. Everybody, we are doing questions on English in India. 1795, a censorship of newspapers introduced in Madras. Correct. Hey? Bengali Elementary School opened in Serampur, Bengal. Is it 1800? Hindu College is in 1817. Sanskrit College, Pune is in 1818. Which of these is wrong, Ankita? I think this Sanskrit College Pune was a bit later, 1821 or something. So this seems wrong. Oh, she must be right. Sanskrit College Pune is so beautiful. Wow. So, dear, dear friends, remember these years, 1795 censorship of newspapers, 1800 Bengali Elementary School in Serampur, Bengal, 1817, famously, Hindu College Calcutta was established. Very good. Choose the correct statement. Lord Bentick was a governor general during 1828-35. He voiced the opinion that Western education should be imparted to Indians through English. We already said that. It is correct. Macaulay's Minute of 1835 on Education became the manifesto of English education in India. We said that is also correct. In 1848, the year of Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood being formed, Savitri Bai Phule and Jyoti Rao Phule opened a school for girls in Pune and she became the first female teacher in India. Ankita, I think the, all these are true. Yeah, all these are true. Great going, guys. We have found, oh, this is Savitri Bai Phule. We have found three important statements about English in India. All right. Identify the correct pair. Hickey's Bengal Gazette started in 1780. Is it? Woods Dispatch, 1854. Hunter Commission, 1882. Or is it all are correct? Uh, Hickey's Bengal Gazette is correct. Woods Dispatch is also correct. Hunter Commission is also correct. Oh, this is all are true, isn't it? Ankita, what do you think? Yeah, I think all are true. So our aim here is to give you 
a lot of correct statements so that you can remember them, guys. All right. Very good. Okay. The Travels of Deen Muhammad was published uh, and it was the first book ever written and published by an Indian in English. I think it was published in 1794. It was about Jamshad Ji, Gigi Boy, Baronet. It is also true. Isn't it, YouTubers? YouTube babies, what do you say? Isn't it true? Yes. Hey, look at Dean Muhammad. I found his picture. Okay, Ankita, shall we go on? Yes, yeah. Dr. M. E. Sadler was the chairman of Dash Commission. One thing I know, he was the vice chancellor of the University of Leeds. Right. Which commission was he chairman of? Delhi University Commission, Calcutta University Commission, Madras University Commission, Pune University Commission. Are, is me to a ki tha commission? Kaan sa tha ankita? It's Calcutta University Commission. Yes, this is M.E. Sadler's G. Pranams up. Calcutta University Commission ka chairman. And he actually criticized Calcutta University because there were many problems there. <laughs> but it is also called uh, University Commission because those recommendations could be applied in many universities. Right? Great. Choose the correct statement about the University Education Commission. We know it is under the chairmanship of Dr. S. Radhakrishnan. He was the vice chancellor of Banaras Hindu University, the second president of India, vice president of India, first vice president of India. Yes, Dr. Radhakrishnan was the chairman. The report outlined the benefits given by English education, but also recommended Hindi should be the alternative. It was the first commission to study the language problem in India, and it inadvertently sowed the seeds of the Hindi versus non-Hindi controversy. Language conflicts emerged from here. Do you think these are true? Is there anything that is missing here? Look at it carefully, you two babies. Ankita, your, your take. All this seem to be true only. Yeah, we are very kind-hearted people. We don't want to confuse you with a lot of false statements. We are letting you learn. We are helping you learn. That is why we are giving all true. Okay, guys. So the report of the University Education Commission, volume two, I have given here the picture of. All right, what is Parak? Parak is part of uh, NEP 2020 and uh, Kasturi Rangan sir was the chairman and I have put his picture here. Is it a new national assessment center? Is it a new central university? Is it a new branch in the army? Or none of these? Parak. What is Parak? Yes. You two babies are saying the correct answer. It is a national education, sorry, <laughs> national assessment center. Students learning assessment portal. A few months ago, it started functioning. What is the full form of Parak? Performance assessment, review and analysis of knowledge for holistic development. This can be a paper one question also, right? Great. So who made the first complete English translation of Valmiki's Ramayana? Any idea, guys? Is it Nathaniel Brassi Holhead, Charles Wilkins, William Jones, or Ralph T.H. Griffith? Charles Wilkins translated Bhagavad Gita. William Jones translated Abhitnana Shakundalam. Ankita, who translated Ramayana? I will go with the option Ralph T.H. Griffith. Yes, Ralph T.H. Griffith is the option. Kisari Mohan Ganguly translated what, Ankita? Kishori Mohan Ganguly. Uh, uh, Mahabharata? Correct. <laughs> yeah, Mahabharata. Mahabharata, yes. Yes, yes, yes. English in India, its present and future is a work by this Great scholar and professor. Do you know who it is? Definitely not Gauri Vishwanathan. Is it VK Gokar? Definitely not Molkra Janand. Is it Braj B. Kacharu? You two babies, you can tell us the answer. You two babies are saying it is VK Gokak and it is correct. English in India, VK Gokak sir. VK Gokak sir has also edited 
Indo-Anglian, Golden Treasury of Indo-Anglian Poetry. Golden Treasury of Indo-Anglian Poetry is also edited by V.K. Gokak, Professor V.K. Gokak. Okay, Ankita, moving on. All these are true about Henry de Rosio, except he was the first Indian poet in English. He was of mixed Indo-Portuguese descent. He owned and edited a newspaper called The Indian, where he wrote and commented extensively on contemporary issues. His poems were published, first volume was published in 1827. Which of these is wrong, Ankita? Uh, the third option doesn't seem correct. It was not the Indian, I think. Then, then what was it? It was the, the East Indian. Ah, correct. A uh, morning chronicle. What is this? That is wrong. I have to correct it right now. What is this, Kalyani? The East Indian is correct. I know for sure. <laughs> the East Indian. The East Indian is the paper DeRosio <laughs> owned. Look at his uh, bust. All right. There is a ghost living in my laptop. And that ghost is making these mistakes. <laughs> okay, guys. Jeevan Smriti. My reminiscences is the autobiography of Toruda, Raja, Ram, Mohan Roy, Rabindra Tagore or Manmohan Ghost. This is cheating because Ankita will be able to read the name written there. Because it's written in Bengali, right? What is the answer, Ankita? Cheating, cheating. <laughs> it's it's Rabindranath Thakur. <laughs> Rabindranath Tagore is correct. Jiban Smriti by Rabindranath Thakur. <laughs> I can read Thakur there in Bengali. <laughs> now, are fir se Bengali? He was a freedom fighter, philosopher, spiritual reformer, and poet. I know. Oh, Rabind. Okay, The Life Divine is a treatise on metaphysics by him. I already read the name here, it is Sri Aurobindo. <laughs> YouTubers, did you like that? What is Sri Aurobindo? Freedom fighter, philosopher, spiritual reformer, poet. Life Divine is a treatise on metaphysics by him. People are saying Savitri is also by him. What is the subtitle of Savitri, Ankita? Uh, Savitri or the epic? No, no. A legend and a symbol. Ha, a legend and a symbol. Savitri, a legend and a symbol. And what kind of yoga did he talk about? Aurobindo talked he, about what kind of yoga? Uh, he, he talked about overhead poetry. But integral I yoga. Yeah. Integral yoga. Overhead poetry, mantric poetry, integral yeah. yoga. Very good, guys. He edited a periodical called Arya. Where is his ashram? Pondicherry. Pondicherry. Very good. He is associated with uh, Bengal, Baroda, Vadodara and Pondicherry. Yes. This work is in the form of a dialogue between the editor and the reader. Identify the work. Is it the story of my experiments with truth? That is Gandhi's autobiography. Or is it Hind Swaraj? which is also a very major work these days prescribed in universities. Songs from Prison, which is a collection of his translations. Or none of these. I think it is self-evident from my explanation. It is Hind Swaraj or Indian Home Rule by Mohan Das Karamchand Gandhi. It is in the form of a dialogue between the editor and reader. All right. This work was written by Nehru in prison during 1942-46 after he was jailed for his participation in the Quit India movement. Ankita, do you know which work is this? Is it Glimpses of World History? Letters from a father to his daughter, The Discovery of India or none of these? I think it was uh, The Discovery of India. Wow, what a massive book. And he wrote it in prison. Oh my God. Amazing, isn't it? It was written while he was imprisoned for quit India participation. Okay. 
which among the following is not a work by Neerat C. Chaudhary. Neerat C. Chaudhary is one of the first generation uh, post-independence writers. He um, wrote a book uh, praising, he wrote a couple of books praising uh, English culture and this got him into trouble. He was called an anti-national in India. He lost his job in the AIR. Oh, poor Neerat C. Chaudhary. Which of the following is not a work by him? The Autobiography of an Unknown Indian. A Passage to England, the Continent of Circe. Is any of these not by him, Ankita? All these are by him, I think. Uh, yes, I think the YouTube babies. Our YouTube babies are also saying the same thing. Wonderful, wonderful. All these are by him. The Autobiography of an Unknown Indian has a very controversial introduction. Which among the following is not a poem by Sarojini Naidu? Palanquin bearers, Coromandel fishers, Pardhanashin, looking glass. Pardhanashin, is it by Sarojini Naidu? Which of these is not by Sarojini Naidu? Bolo Ankita, you two babies also can tell us. I think the looking glass is by Kamla Das. I think yes, it's not by Yes, you're Sarojini. right. This is Kamla Das in a youth. She was very pretty. Kamla Das wrote The Looking Glass. Lankita, can you tell me more poems by uh, Kamla Das? An Introduction. Uh, yes. Then The Dance of the Eunuchs, Summer in Calcutta. Uh, huh, then Summer in Calcutta is a poetry collection. Poetry collection. The Dance Hot of the Eunuchs. Malbar. Huh. The Freaks. You two babies are also telling us. Ankita, the yes. Magots. I think there was a poem called The Maggots. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about it. You should be sure. Yeah. Uh, because yesterday we made a small mistake. I was asking about Doris Lessing and by mistake you said Curriculum Vitae. It is by Muriel Spark. Somebody had pointed it out in the option in the comments. Guys, remember Curriculum Vitae is the autobiography of Muriel Spark. Okay. Trap Falls in the Sky is an award-winning poetry collection. Is it by Shivke Kumar, G. Tail or Give Patel? YouTubers, you know it, don't you? YouTube babies are saying Shiv K. Kumar and that is right. <gasps> YouTube babies said it, Shiv K. Kumar ghush ho gaya. <laughs> Do you know which is the Sahitya Academy Award winning poetry collection by Jeet Tayal? Ankita. These errors are correct. These errors are correct. By Gif Patel. Gif Patel guidance. <laughs> Keki Darwala is trying to say goodbye. No. Huh. No, no, no. Hmm. Keki Darwala, you YouTubers will tell us. YouTubers, can you please tell us? We don't remember correctly. What is the... Um... Keki and Darwala won the prize for the keeper of the dead. Trap falls in the sky, Shibuke Kumar. Huh. Keki and Daruwal, I think, got the prize for the Keeper of the Dead. Ah, Keeper of the Dead. Keki and Daruwal is Keeper of the Dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right there. Yes. Uh, I, I, My connection is bad. I couldn't get uh, the video. That's okay. I, I think uh, YouTubers would have said it. All right. He belonged to Mumbai's Marathi speaking Jewish community known as the Bene Israel community. He also received Sahitya Academy Award for Latter Day Psalms. It is who everybody knows. Ankita, you too? I think it's Nisim Ezekiel. Yes, it is indeed Nisim Ezekiel. Very good, very good. Nisim Ezekiel's first. Collection is trying to say goodbye uh, and other poems. Can you tell me the names of the poems by Nizim Esekiel, Ankita? The Night of the Scorpion. Uh, then Background Casually. Time to, not uh, trying to say goodbye. Time to change in other poems. So uh -huh. I'm making mistakes. Uh, Nizim Esekiel's first collection is Time to Change... So, other poems by Nisim Esekiel. The Enterprise. Night of the Scorpion. Huh. Ah, the Night of the Scorpion. There is... Uh, Background Casually. Other poems. 
बैकग्राउंड कैजुअली आई थिंक इट्स वेरी बैकग्राउंड कैजुअली या द पेट्रियट द प्रोफेसर यस पोइट लवर बर्ड वॉचर देन मिस पुष्पा टी एस गुड बाय पार्टी फॉर मिस पुष्पा टी एस वेरी गुड वेरी गुड uh latter day psalms are given here do you remember guys who wrote latter day pamphlets carlyle eh? thomas carlyle i think latter day pam pamphlets okay who was the first indian english poet to receive the sahitya academy award first indian english poet chitail jayanta mahapatra ak ramanujan or p lal <clears throat> YouTubers, of course, it is. Yeah, Shrabani is reminding us how the English lesson ended. Is also by Nisim Asikil. This uh, first poet to win uh, Sahitya Academy Award is A K Ramanujan. Sorry, Jayanta Mahapatra. First poet to win Sahitya Academy Award is Jayanta Mahapatra. Can you hear me clearly, Ankita? Yes, ma'am, but the slide has not changed. Now, next question is. Okay. Oh, that that was the last question. Sorry. Uh, so, did you like the session? Um, there was some connectivity issue. Did you like the session, Ankita? Yes, it was very informative. We, I got to there learn many new points. Issue. So, I hope everybody enjoyed the session. I hope. Um, Ma'am, uh, your video has got frozen. Okay, everyone. So I think uh, Ma'am got disconnected uh, from the meeting for connectivity issues. So we will be back again on Monday. Okay. So yeah, uh, I will end the session now. So thank you for staying with us. And please like the.